Hi, my name is Kelly Pratt and I work with Echo Consulting. Today, I want to show how you can use um, a Smartsheet add-on called Data Shuttle to populate a drop-down list within a sheet. So for this use case example, um, we're going to use an example that we use here at Echo. So we have a sheet that we keep track of all of our clients, um, just general project health information and uh, time tracking. So we have that sheet and that's where we want to be able to um, take the names that we have of our clients listed and input them into a drop down in our CRADE log. So our CRADE log is a log that we use to um, document actions, issues, decisions, risks, and changes. And we want to be able to associate items with a specific client in a dropdown, but we want to automate that process so we don't have to manually update that dropdown every time we add a client. Now we're already adding new clients to a sheet that we have called billable time tracking, again, where we keep all that high level data. So um, as soon as we add the client there and we go through the data shuttle process, it will be added to the drop down. So let me walk you through how that works. Um, in order for this to work, to take values from one sheet and populate it into another sheet for drop down values, you need to have two workflows. You need an offload workflow and an upload workflow. So um, you would click the plus button on the left hand side and you would select offload data first. Now, no, typically you would hit next and it's going to take you through all the categories. I'm just going to open up the one that I already have created, but I'll still be able to take you through all the categories. So this is offload client names. And what the end result of this is going to be is um, the client names uh, or uh, the data from the billable time tracking sheet is actually going to upload as an Excel attachment to our Echo Crane log. So the first thing that you do is you identify your source. So there's a drop down here. You can search for your sheet or simply go to the workspace and find your sheet and you just select the sheet. Then you um, pick your target sheet. So um, and target location. So you can also offload uh, in data shuttle in general a file um, or a sheet to you know OneDrive or SharePoint or Google Drive. Um, but in this case, I want a smart sheet attachment because I want it to upload to another smart sheet for this particular solution. So I selected smart sheet attachment. I selected our echo crate log because in order for the upload workflow to work, I need the attachment to um, go to the crate log where I want the drop downs to be updated. You simply name whatever you want the um, file name to be. So I called it project list. Um, and then uh, you can select a file type. I just kept it as CSV and I did select to add headers to the destination file. So that just means when it offloads or um, really exports as an Excel, the column headings that you have will be headers in the Excel file. So then next, um, this is where you can add any filters. So maybe you have a status that says if a client is not active anymore, um, or you have some other type of criteria, you can add different filters here. You can also add filter logic. So if I had more than one filter here, I could say, um, the filter logic was it needs to meet one and two, or it could meet one or two. So you can do a combination of and and or functions um, for that to work. For this particular use case, we in our um, source sheet, we actually have child rows for each of our clients. And so we have a formula calculation to check a box if um, the row is a parent row. And for this particular workflow, I really only need the parent rows. I don't need every single row in the sheet. So for a filter on a checkbox, um, that's why I have is parent question mark is the name of our column equals true because it's checked. So false would be unchecked, true would be checked. Next, so then um, mapping, it's automatically gonna show all of the uh, columns that are in the source sheet. I just went through and deleted a bunch because we really just needed minimal information. We didn't need all of it. I really only need client, but I included a few other things, um, you know, in the case that we're looking at the uploaded file and we want some information. <clears throat> so it's a simple, it's automatic, it says mapping, but really it's just showing you that it's taking each of the columns and creating a, a column into the Excel document. Then we get into our run option. So you can run um, on a schedule. And so I selected, you can pick any days of the week. I picked Monday through Friday. Um, and I just did once a day because 
for this work particular workflow, we don't need it more than that. Um, <clears throat> but you can run it as frequently as every 15 minutes. You can even do a start and end time if you only needed to do it during um, business hours, for example. But for this use case, I really only need it once a day and I have it at um, 12 midnight. So it's just happening overnight. Next, named the workflow and that's it, published it. That's the first step in the exit. <clears throat> You can see here in our CRADE log, <clears throat> if I go to attachments, you'll be able to see this project list as an attachment there. Okay, so um, then we get to our upload workflow. So seeing here, you would press the plus button and you would do upload data and go next. I'm gonna simply go into the one I already have to show you as an example. I'm gonna edit the workflow. Okay, and it's very similar, um, very similar kind of uh, steps to go through in the workflow. So first I pick the source and the source in this case, so for upload workflows, you can connect to OneDrive and SharePoint, Google Drive and Box. Um, but for this one, right, I just need a Smartsheet attachment. So we offloaded from one sheet and uploaded an attachment to the Echo Crate log. And now I wanna upload that data into the Echo Crate log. So I'm doing Smartsheet Attachment, I'm selecting Echo Crate Log, and I'm choosing the attachment by the name. So you can do the most recent as well, um, but that use case really only works if you're not gonna have many different types of attachments, um, and it's only gonna be the same one. So if you want it, it, you know, otherwise it could get confused in the workflow. So really choosing by uh, attachment by name makes a little bit more sense in this use case. Um, I put in, I had to type in the attachment name and you have to include the dot csv in there so if you just typed in project list it would it's going to show an error so just keep that in mind and if it was an excel file you might need to do you know the dot xls or whatever that may be um checked off that the file has column headers because in the offload workflow we had selected to create headers um and we are starting with the first row and um this just gives you an option for character separator for this use case didn't need um didn't need something different, so I just defaulted to comma, and I'm okay with that. Okay, so then we go to target, and the target is the same as the source, right? So the source is the attachment attaching to the crate log, and the target is that it's going into the crate log. Now, in an upload workflow, there's a lot more options for what you can do. Um, you can replace all the target sheet rows with the data from the upload file. You can merge the data into a target. Um, into the target sheet based on a key column value. So you have to have a unique identifier. Um, but again, for this use case, what we're doing is we're updating a dropdown. So you just select update dropdown choices for selected columns. Then you can put filters in. In this use case, I didn't need any filters because I filtered on my offload workflow. So I don't need to filter again, um, all the data that's coming through in the Excel file I want to include. And then mapping. Um, you simply map the client, whatever field that you have in the Excel file into the um, column name that you want the drop down to. So actually, this is a mistake. I don't need that status column mapped. So really the only one that I need mapped is client. So what this is saying is the client column in the Excel file, all of those values are going to go into the client um, column in Smartsheet as a drop-down option. And then for run options, you can run on schedule as well. But again, since I'm running on a schedule on the offload workflow, I really just need to run on attachment for this workflow. So as soon as a new file is attached, um, then the workflow will run. It will take the values from the client column and it will port them into our client drop-down. Um, expressions is another option in an upload um, workflow. Uh, this is not valid for this use case, but essentially it allows you to um, manually fill in data in a specific column if you wanted. So potentially the data is not coming from the source, but just you're adding on um, an additional data element into a column in your upload target sheet, um, which again uh, is not valid for this use case. And then next, and then you name it and you publish it. In here, you can see when was the last run. So you can see the last run um, was last night or yesterday. And you can see a history of all of the different runs and what has um, 
been updated and if there was any errors, it would show there. And now when we go into our credit log, our client list shows the dropdown, which were taken from our um, billable time tracking sheet. Awesome. Well, thanks for listening and don't hesitate to look at our other resources on YouTube for any other uh, Smartsheet tips and tricks.